Hello everybody and welcome to my first video in 2022 as well as the first Roomba Moss release in this year. 15.3 is out and it brings support for MPE in the generic flexi. So what is MPE? MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. And if you have never heard about this, uh, it allows you to modulate individual notes, their pitch and also other modulation and sound changes. Because normally the MIDI protocol only supports pitch band for all notes, not for individual ones. And there are for quite some years are now hardware controllers out there which support this new MPE protocol. So you can pitch band individual notes on these controllers for example the instrument but there are also software implementations for example on the iPad which uh, can also support this. To use that successfully and also maybe to, to configure some stuff, I think a bit of background for that protocol is helpful to understand what is it is actually doing. Because it's still compatible to the old MIDI 1.0 protocol, which is surprising that this is now coming up with such a new feature. So they did a very cute trick to uh, support this because the MIDI protocol has 16 channels, so you can send individual notes on these 16 channels. And you can also send pitch band for all these 16 channels and also control messages on the different channels. So they did this simple trick that to say, okay, let's simply use all of those 16 channels. And with that trick, we can have up to 15. I explain why it's only 15 in, in a second. You can modulate 15 individual notes, their pitch band with this new MPE protocol. So that's a trick they applied. And you could also have in this protocol up to two zones. So this is a screenshot from the actual specification of the protocol. So as you see here, you have the 16 media channels and why you have only 15 if you use only one zone and all of them is that for each zone you need such a control channel where you send control messages for example to turn on and off the MPE protocol and if you use two zones as you see you need to sacrifice two of the channels so then you can have only up to seven for each but you can also change here the cutoff channel you can also have 10 and here two and what's your hearts are like there what I implemented with the generic flexi was only one zone because using two would have been quite difficult to set up and I'm not sure about the benefit because you would have to use two inputs anyway and yeah okay so it's like this we have now up to 15 individual nodes you can modify with this MPE of the implementation so but enough of the theory let's look how this can be used and how you install it so if you have installed driven by MOS which I guess is already the case if not watch my introduction installation video about installation of driven by MOS and then you can add here your generic flexi controller i don't have an mpe hardware controller but i thought why not use a simple app there were very cheap apps here in the app store which can use this protocol for example here i have the kb1 application which is a simple midi controller application which simulates keyboards and also supports mpe as well and this is connected via my mio 10 from iConnectivity, which allows to connect both an ipad as well as an PC per USB. So I have here this input USB 2 as well as here USB 2. Here it is. And then we have normal generic flexi. And here in the keyboard section, there is now a new option that you can enable MPE. And if you do so, you need to restart it by switching it off and on again to make the configuration work. Before that, we turn also on that switch. I will explain in a second why and let's turn it on again. It uses now these 15 channels as I explained before. You have also the option to change the sensitivity of this pitch band information, which is normally set to 48, which is fine, I think. And here for the forwarding, it's normally helpful to use the CC74, which is normally used as another modulation besides the pitch band by MPE. So it makes sense to enable it. But I thought if you only want to use pitch band, then I give you the option to switch it off as well in case you don't want to use it. That's basically all you need to configure. Then MPE is ready. And here in this application, 
information and I also need to make sure we have the correct output selected, which is that one. And here uh, MPE channel is already selected and then we should be able to play it. Yeah, and it's already played. And you see if I play the note, I can bend the note, but I can now also bend multiple notes, but also individually. Let's look also then at the another thing, which is here as a slide implemented. And this sends now this CC74, which is a other modulation. And this works also for all of the individual up to 15 notes. And to use that, you need to use here the expressions modulator, which is exactly the idea to use that. And here it's called the timbre, the T-I-M-B. And for example, let's map that here a little bit to the filter. Let's open the filter a bit with that and let's try it. It's here on iPad moving it up and down. So you see, I can open and close the filter, but I can also do this now for the multiple notes. Open the bass note only, open the high notes all of them and bend at the same time as well so pretty powerful and this cannot only be used by the Bitwig stock plugins but you can also use any compatible app for example like Hive 2 supports MPE with that we should set pitch bend here also to 48 to make it work the same way and what you need to do is you need to enable MPE here. You can also go here for the expressions command and here you can also map the timber to whatever you want to map it to. So if you want to use MPE with the Generic Flexi, it's now possible, for example, if you have a new hardware controller, which is not directly supported by Bitwig. And also if you have such an app, which is really nice, if you want to do this bendy stuff, it works now as well. And I hope you like it, dig it and make some funky music. <laughs>